We're gonna need a saw, some plastic, burner phone. I gotta go to the bathroom. That's good. You need to go ahead and let all the liquids out because you don't want to leave no DNA. You're not helping. Every time you try to kill a man, you're gonna squirt a little pee. I know that for sure. <laughs> So I didn't like Tiffany Haddish in Girls Trip, but I liked her a lot in high school. So how does she do in Nobody's Fool? Let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Nobody's Fool, Better Late Than Never 2018 edition. I really do appreciate it. So we have Nobody's Fool here. Um, this is something that I really wasn't looking forward to, to be honest with you. It's being written and directed by Tyler Perry, who, you know, he's he's okay. You know, he's hit or miss. You know, he had the horrible movie, one of the worst movies I've seen this year, Acrimony, that came out earlier this year. You can check out my non-spoiler review and spoiler review for that. But now he has a comedy, which, you know, earlier this year was kind of like a drama thriller. But now he has a comedy called Nobody's Fool. It has Tiffany Haddish in it. I am kind of 50-50 with her. It also has uh, Tika Sumpner. I am a fan of hers. Uh, I think she's very gorgeous. I think she's a fantastic actress. Uh, she first popped up on the scene for me, which uh, that BET uh, TV series, The Game, which was great at first in the first few seasons, but then it fell off. And, you know, she's done some other stuff, too, like Southside with you, the uh, the story of Barack and Michelle Obama and how they got together. The man and the gun that came out early this year and right along one and two with, uh, you know, Ice Cube and. Um, with um, Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. I couldn't think of his name. Sorry about that. So we got this comedy right here. And what it's about is Tika Sumner, um, you know, she has a successful career. She's a nice, upstanding woman in society. And she has been dating this guy. But, you know, she's never met him before. She's never seen him before. She's only talked to him. So, you know, they believe that she's getting catfished. And um, what's her name? Tiffany Haddish character is recently coming out of prison and, you know, that she's going to shack up with her sister and then our adventure ensues. Now, I really didn't like this movie at all. There's pretty much nothing that I can say that I did like about it. Um, Tiffany Haddish was just was not funny in this movie to me. She was over the top. Uh, everything about her was over exaggerated. It was just too much. It seemed like she was kind of begging for laughs. I don't understand why she had to do that. Uh, because she is funny. I mean, she was funny in high school, like I've said. And I, I believe I've seen some of her uh, stand up a long time ago. And I laughed at that, too. But, you know, this right here in Girls Trip and uh, well, this right here in Nobody's Fool. And also in Girls Trip, I just kind of feel like she just playing the same character over and over and over again. And I just really don't find that funny. Uh, slight spoilers here, just for an example, when the film first started, uh, she got out of prison and there was a scene to where she was supposed to be having sex in the back of a car with Michael Blackston and it just wasn't funny. I mean, it's just like they wasn't trying at all. And uh, I don't know what Tyler Perry is thinking here uh, with this lazy writing and this lazy story, but, you know, it was only written in 10 days, but I'm just really disappointed, you know, uh, as a movie patron, you know, that I'm shelling over my daughter, my, I'm going to say my daughters, my dollars. Uh, for such poor material and it's just not Tiffany Haddish it's the whole premise itself I mean it's just kind of stupid to me you know online and in social media catfishing was a big thing a number of years ago of course it still goes on today and before it popped off online a number of years ago on Facebook where they had all those shows and stuff but I just kind of feel like that's just a little too late now j j for comparison if you were to see an action movie and they were doing bullet time and somebody dodging bullets like this you'd be like okay we've seen that a thousand times now this is not 19 you know 1999 or something like that that's kind of like you know, that was a that was a while ago that was 19 years ago now that movie or the tv show for catfish wasn't 19 years ago but it was still a number of years ago and i just feel like this film is just kind of like outdated the premise is dumb and it just is not funny for the most part now there are some there were a few funny scenes with tiffany haddish i am not gonna lie um, especially towards the end of the film where I forgot, I think somebody was like at her house or her sister's house and she sat on someone's lap. I did laugh there and I did laugh a number, like maybe two other times, you know, while I was watching the whole movie, but, um, it was a long movie. It felt long. It was an hour and 55 minutes and it was just something that I really just didn't enjoy. I don't understand, um, uh, why Tiffany Haddish, 
uh, has to go this route. I mean, she can be a funny person, but this just kind of seems like a little bit over the top and unnecessary with, you know, I, I, I just can't get behind somebody that uh, is as gorgeous as this film is portraying this character, you know, really can't find a man. Well, I mean, she could, but, you know, you're telling you, you I, I, I don't mean to judge you no one out there, but you're telling someone that you love them and all this stuff and you haven't even seen their face. I mean, it's just silly to me. And it, it's just, you know, I didn't really find it entertaining at all. If I had to rate uh, Nobody's Fool out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this a 4 out of 10. Uh, yes, a 4 out of 10. The reason why I'm even giving it that much is because towards the end of the film, towards the back half, it did get a little bit better. Um, and there were a few times that I did laugh. But don't listen to me, guys. There was a group of three women to my left. They were laughing their butts off the entire film. It was like this was the funniest movie that they've ever seen. So our film was subjective. I don't feel that way. My mom doesn't feel that way. She said nobody's fool is so bad that it makes her not want to go to the movies anymore. And she's a moviegoer. So, I mean, you're just going to have to make the decision yourself. But, you know, I'm just going to give this, a, you know, a 4 out of 10. But in the end, guys, that is just my opinion. Okay. Have you seen Nobody's Fool or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel um, you can also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my pen slash review for nobody's fool starring tika sumner Tiffany Haddish and written and directed by Tyler Perry. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.